Welcome to the Pot Bottom Desert within the Galar region. This desert is an enclosed area covered in sand and frequently buffeted by intense sandstorms. However, on some days, the desert calms, revealing itself to be the home of many spectacular Pokemon species. My name is Professor Ginkgo, and I'm a Pokemon researcher from the Unova region. I'm here today to give you an in-depth look at one of the world's most famous ground-type Pokemon. This is, of course, the mole Pokemon, Diglett. Diglett usually live about one yard underneath the sand dunes, where they feed on plant roots. They sometimes appear above ground to spend some time in the sun. However, their skin is very thin. If they are exposed to light for too long, their blood heats up, causing them to grow extremely weak. You might notice the small hairs on Diglett's body as well as how it wiggles around when above the ground. Diglett have far stronger senses than you or me, and it uses its motion combined with those hairs to be aware of its surroundings. This allows Diglett to quickly burrow underground if it senses danger. If you're ever in Unova and wish to stop by my home in Flechessie Town, you'll be able to see how local farmers work with Diglett in order to grow berries and crops. The reason this happens is because wherever this Pokemon burrows, the soil is left perfectly tilled for planting crops. This soil is made ideal for growing apricorns and allows local farmers to live harmoniously with the Diglett species they raise. Because of how Diglett keep a part of their body underground, it is still unknown what the rest of their body looks like. Their height is assumed to be 8 inches with a weight of 1.8 pounds, but this is highly speculated. However, something we do have confirmed is Diglett's method of evolution. You see, Diglett fits into the same evolutionary type that includes Magnemite and Doduo. Here you see how one Diglett seems to become three Diglett, but instead this process of reproduction leads to the creation of a new Pokemon, known as Dugtrio. While not much is known about Dugtrio, its behavior is similar to that of Diglett, and has been observed to almost be somehow of a hive mind connecting three Diglett together. While this information isn't fully confirmed, it is still being tested and researched to this very day. Many questions and only a few answers, but sadly that's all the time I have here today. I'm Professor Ginko, and we hope to see you again on Pokey National Geographic.